So with three of the four semi-finals at the Beijing Grand Slam going to three sets, we're running just a touch behind schedule. But coming up, we have the women's bronze medal game. April Ross and Jen Kersey of the United States, the reigning world champions, taking on Marta Menegatti and Greta Ciccolari of Italy. Kersey and Ross will feel that they led a golden chance to be in the gold medal match, slipped through their grasp. They took the first set against Misty May Trainer and Kerry Walsh and were on top in the second two before eventually losing in three sets. They were very upset at the end, as you can well expect, but they are professionals. They will be giving all they've got to try and win this bronze medal here. They topped the points list in 2011. Menegatti and Ciccolari, well, they lost in the semi-finals to the giant killers from Germany, Katrin Holtvig and Ilka Semler. That was in straight sets, 21-19, 21-16. Both these sides medalled at the last round in Mislavica. Only one of them can do so here. Menegatti and Ciccolari, they took silver in Poland. Kessie and Ross took bronze. They were well beaten, really. Katrin Holvik was in inspirational form for the Germans in the semi-final. April Ross served very, very well in the semi-final. What an opportunity they let slip from their grasp. Still never beaten. Their compatriots, Misty May Trainer and Kerry Walsh in FIVB tournament play. Now six defeats. Chiglari and Menegatti, well, they've never beaten Cassie and Ross. Four nothing. Cassie and Ross lead the series. Kessie and Ross did beat Ciccolari and Menegatti in Mislavica. But then Ciccolari and Menegatti recovered from that and went on to take silver. Kessie and Ross with the bronze there. Let's meet our referee, Shen Zhang Hong from China, is the first referee. And Shinjo Takeshi from Japan is the second referee. April Ross wearing one for the States. Jen Kessie wearing two. 
already three medals from four tournaments this season. Ciccolari and Menegatti, silver in Mislovica when they lost to Kaiser and Van Eertel and the Netherlands in the final. And now in another medal game. This is a good habit to get into. Marta Minigatti with the first serve of the match. Oh, wonderful from Minigatti. Can she finish it? Equally inspired from Ross. Oh, both sides have clearly got over the disappointment of losing in the semis. And they are treating the crowd to some formidable play. First point for the Italians. I hope Ross hasn't damaged herself here. Holding her back and her left leg. Our second referee, Shinjo Takeshi, is going across to check on her well-being. Stretching out, which is a tough cookie. She's going to continue. That's the applause from the crowd. <laughs> Defense from Ross. Now cross court. Well, she looked okay there. Didn't go for the powerful serve, which she is capable of, but moved well across the court. Four touches. Set for Chicolari. Now Kessie. Wanted too much. Nicely done by Ross. <laughs> Chikolari beating the Ross block. 4 3 to the United States at the first side change. Menegatti to serve. Cassie. There it is for five three. Celebration for the Italians. Look at the skill of Greta Ciccolari. Right, 
Down the line. Menegazzi and Chicolari in their third season together. Kessie and Ross, eight tour titles to their name, three in Grand Slam tournaments. Couldn't quite retrieve it there. The defence, Marta Menegazzi. Clipped off Chicolari. Went full length, the 20 year old. <laughs> Wide from Kessie. Brilliant. A strong lead being accumulated by the United States. She read that, did Ross. Over the head from Kessie and Ross finishing it off in style. Great combination work. 9-5 at the second side change. <laughs> Ross hangs her head. Point conceded. Deception from Kessie. It's the sixth time in the last 15 events that they have played for a medal, Kessie and Ross. Prior to that, they had played for a medal in 17 out of 20. That run taking them from October 2008 through to Moscow in 2010. Consistency is the word that best describes their season to date. Jesse Wild. <laughs> Redeems herself, does Jen Kesey. and Chikolari third time they've played in the last four as a pair the others being Ms. Levitsa and 2009 in Sanya they're going for their second medal as a pairing Chikolari and Menegati with the left hand the variation in tactics from Chikolari proves beneficial Well finished off. 12-9 to the United States and the technical timeout.
Benegatti and Chicolari one medal as a pairing. Kessie and Ross substantially more. 23 in all. over who should be serving here. It's number two, Jen Kessie. <laughs> Buried by Chikolari. Gatti down the line. A roar of Bellissima accompanying that from the PA stadium announcer. And it was a beautiful shot from the elegant 20-year-old. from Chikolari. Anything you can do, I can match, she says to her partner. 12 all. Since the technical timeout, they have won three points in a row. Pokes it too far. Clipped off Ross's hand, and a two-point lead for the Italians. Time out, called by the world champions, Ross and Kessie. Won that title in Stavanger, and they'll be defending it next week in Rome, which incidentally was where they took their last gold medal on the FIVB World Tour. That was in May of last year. Gatti and Chikolari have never taken a set off Cassie and Ross. Four defeats and four straight set defeats. Three of them have been this year. Shanghai, Mislavica, and they also met earlier on in this tournament. Well, they're contesting this. The point is given to the Italians. Points being underlined by Shen Zhang Hong. The first referee, happy with the decision. They wanted the ball mark check. They're going to have to accept it. Yeah, they're in the same pool, actually, these two pairings. And Kessie and Ross won 21-16, 21-13. Chikolari and Menegatti won only one game in that pool. Kessie and Ross's first defeat was the semi-final against Misty May and Kerry Walsh. Oh, surely. I think she was deterred there. Chikolari has uh, Kessie adjusted her position. Put her off.
Banks within one. Ross and Kessie always fancy their chances of overturning deficits in matches, even when it gets out to three or four points. Sadly for them in their semi, it was Misty May and Kerry Walsh who proved capable of doing it. They weren't on the same wavelength there, Chicolari and Menegati. 15 all. Roll shot executed to perfection by Greta Ciccolari. Too long. Most number of points that Ciccolari and Minigatti have ever scored in a set against Kessie and Ross, 20. It's in the first set when they played in Mislavica. And that has taken them to 17. Kessie goes line, as she was asked to by April Ross. Big serve from Ross. Did well to get that. Now here's Ross. Going into no man's land. They've kept it going though, the Italians. Too long in the end. Stupendous rally. Ciccolari trying to place one. Wasn't much in it. Dear, oh dear. I think she was off balance, leaning backwards, but still, player of Kessie's calibre. Ross bangs on down the middle. Two more points required for the stakes to take the set. Kessie, great block. Two set points. And at that point, Italy call their timeout. Twenty eighteen, Chicolari and Menegati Trail.
time is up on the timeout. Jen Kersey serving for the set. And the first set to the United States, 21-18. the match that neither pairing wanted to be in but they've given it their best shot throughout this entertaining first set 21-18 to the States fifth match of eight that we are showing you live today. Three of the previous four have gone to three sets. The only one that didn't was Chikolari and Menegatti. They're losing in their semi-final to Holtvik and Semler. Menegatti and Chikolari in this set two, trying to stay in the match. There was menace in that stroke from Jen Kersic. Got so high and hit it so hard. Too long. The Italians were on the back foot from the serve was a good one from April Ross. <laughs> Marta Menegatti. Two to the States. Guess he's made one block, tries the second. The ball falls on the American side of the net. Backpedalling, April Ross. Jen Kessy couldn't get there. 4 3 Italy at the side change. Just the T 
touch more on the ball than I think Kessie was expecting. Very good. Off Chikolari's body, that's well placed by Minigati. Gatti's there where she needed to be once again. Excellent block by Kessie to seal the point. All Menegatti's hard work going unrewarded. Slam down. Over the baseline by Greta Ciccolari. That is in. 6-6. Six, six. Well, Chikolari went long on her serve and then Minigati dumps one into the net. Concession of cheap points can hurt you. Both the Americans down. 7-7. Seven, seven. And the second side change. and Kessie guaranteed to stay top of the points list in 2011. That one's good from Kessie. Menegatti and Chikolari going over inquisitively. They'd like the ball mark checked with the naked eye and in real time I thought it was a good way in and the officials back that up, the first referee, Shen Zhang Hong from China, firm in the decision making. A duel at the net, Menegati victorious. by April Ross looked right played it centre left wrong footing Martin Menegatti oh, 
Oh, how does she get that? That's incredible play from Kessie. What a point, what teamwork. Both of them stretching every sinew. They almost deserve a bronze medal for that alone. Menegatti with her deception and disguise. Down the middle. Chikolari sowing doubt in the American minds. Had to go for it, Kessie. No way Ross would have got that. 10-10. It's out. So, the States 11-10 up at the technical timeout. Entertainment on court at all times. That's the ethos behind beach volleyball. On the resumption, Jen Kessie to serve. Chikolari getting that point. Well, she judged that correctly, the American. in Greta Chikolari short set Kessie down the line rolling one Oh yes, a couple of great gets there from Ross, unfortunate for her, 30 0 
Menegatti doesn't flinch and she wins the point outstanding from the 20 year old more impressive than the way she won the point with the final shot was the dig there was so much pace on the ball Sadly for Menegatti, she follows up with that. 14 all, and the side change. an hour serve from April Ross Italy coming up with the spoils set up for Ketty Back over the head. Ross unable to control it. It's out. Too many of these from Italy. Without the long serves or the serves into the net, they would have stood an even better chance of levelling the match at one set all, having lost the first 21-18. Service winner by Ross. He spotted that Ross was going to come the other way, put it into the space, eliminating Jen Kessie in the process. Well worked, 18-17. Sky is just darkening here in Beijing. Wind's picking up too. Kessie. 1917 <laughs> aiming for their fourth medal of the season the 2011 points list leaders two more points required there's one back for Italy though Greta Cecolari Yeah. 
Match points to the Americans. They have two of them. And a fluky ace seals the bronze medal for April Ross and Jen Kessie. Greta Chikolari and Martin Menegatti finish fourth. A fourth medal of the season for Kessie and Ross. They would have liked more. They were unfortunate in their semi-final against Misty May Trainer and Kerry Walsh, but they win this one 21-18. 21-18. So that's three bronzes and one silver so far in five events for Kessie and Ross. They've got over their disappointment. Bounce back to pick up the medal nevertheless. Well, straight after this, straight after we've seen some of the highlights, we'll have the women's final. Women's final, of course, between Kerry Walsh and Misty May Trainer, the Olympic champions in this stadium, and the German pairing of Katrin Holtvik and Ilka Semler. Twenty-one eighteen, twenty-one eighteen to Cassie and Ross. And join us for the gold medal match in just a few moments' time. Walsh and May against Holtvik and Semler.